Good morning, Kurt. Thanks so much. Well, smokers will now have to butt out on restaurant and bar patios. The new smoking bylaw takes effect today, and reporter Melissa Lamb is live outside near some of those patios to tell us how this will have an effect on you. Melissa. That's right, Annette. And uh, right here on the sidewalk is where people are going to have to come if they are outside on any one of those patios because they can no longer smoke on restaurant bars and patios. Now, the a warning phase is in for the ban, which starts today. It will be in effect for 90 days. But starting July 2nd, if you are caught smoking in any one of these areas, you can be fined up to $300. Now, the new rules means you can't smoke on any city property, including parks and beaches, bar and restaurant patios. Now, the city is implementing the ban to help reduce exposure to secondhand smoke, which can lead to cancer and other illnesses such as asthma. Well, this was brought in for health reasons. Secondhand smoke kills hundreds of people each and every year in Canada. And uh, we think it's just a common sense step to take. Now, you can still smoke on NCC property, which includes Confederation Park. However, there is some chatter of them also becoming smoke-free in the near future. Annette? Okay, Melissa, thanks for that. Melissa Lamb outside in the Byron Market. Well, spring is bringing some green to Ottawa's trees and lawns, and there will be more green at the curb as the city ramps up collection of organic waste. Green bin collection is moving from bi-weekly to once a week. You can toss leaf and yard waste into your green bin, as well as food scraps and anything organic. The city is reminding you to make sure to lock the bin to stop animals and other pests from getting in. The owner of the Lunch Lady Catering Company says the salmonella outbreak was a horrifying experience. The Lunch Lady will reopen today. It shut down in mid-March after a salmonella scare. The kitchen on Boyd Avenue was at the center of the public health investigation. A dozen schools and daycares were eventually linked to the salmonella outbreak. The catering company says measures have been put in place to make sure it doesn't happen again. Government employees heading into work today are expecting to learn whether they'll still be employed. The Conservatives announced in their budget last week 19,000 public service jobs were on the chopping block. Employees will reportedly start getting letters today telling them whether they're included in the cuts. Not all will lose their jobs. Some could choose retirement or option opening of positions. Rather, retirement, those positions would then be opened up for others. Canada is coming to the aid of dozens of passengers stranded on a cruise ship after a fire in one of the engine rooms. I cannot say enough about the crew and the captain and all the people and how they took care of us. They did double duty. They worked so hard without sleep. The ship spent 24 hours at sea before the crew managed to dock in Malaysia. About 1,000 people were on board, including 45 Canadians. Five of the crew members were injured in the fire, but no passengers were hurt. The Juno Awards rocked Scotiabank Place, with big names taking the stage, including the show's host, William Shatner. Shatner did his own performance before handing the mic off to the other musicians. The Sheepdogs and Feist each took home three awards, while Vancouver singer-songwriter Dan Maljean was named Best Newcomer, and pop star Justin Bieber claimed the Juno Fan Choice Award for the second year in a row. Ottawa Senators fans will get a chance to see their team in the playoffs after all, and tickets go on sale starting this weekend. The team clinched to their playoff spot with a 5-1 win over the New York Islanders last night. No dates have been set for the Sens' first playoff series, but tickets will go on sale Saturday morning. You can order yours at Sens stores, any Ottawa Sports Experts location, or capitalticketsca